Welcome back to Bo's Outdoor Adventures. We're out on the Great Sacandaga looking for geese today. I'm going to check around the islands. They're usually out here. It's a calm morning. It's 6.30 a.m. A couple other boats out right now, but uh, hopefully we can find some geese. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll get lucky. Pretty calm out here today. Temps about 66, 67 degrees out. I just gotta keep an eye out for rocks because the lake is quite low. I see ducks flying already. Duck season opens next month though, so there's some ducks flying. Hopefully we can find those geese. Usually, there's geese all over the lake. Like I said, we're gonna check down around the islands. It's usually pretty calm down there. The water's low. Most other people stay away from there. So I've got the uh, shotgun loaded up. We're gonna cruise on down to the other end of the lake, down by the islands down there. If we're lucky, I'll uh, see some geese down that way. Hopefully there's nobody fishing down there. We're going to try to avoid anybody fishing. just saw some ducks flying. Duck season isn't open yet, but we're getting up towards the islands. There very well could be some geese. I'm trying to see what's flying right there. I think that was ducks flying up there too. Yeah, there's ducks landing right there. I see a lot of birds out here, whether it's geese or whatnot. I'm not sure. I'm not close enough to see yet. Okay, there's a whole flock of geese flying right there. I just heard them coming in. You gotta see where they're headed to. You can see where they land. I know they're probably going to the back side of the lake over there. Back to the bay where I'm headed. I just gotta see. Looks like they're headed up in the air now, although they might be going out to the fields. Well, it's a good sign. We got geese around anyway. See if they drop down on the other side of the island. If they do. I know where to go. There's another little flat taken off right here. If I can get them close enough, I can get a shot right out of here. Might have to get the Fox Pro out, see if I can get any uh, sounds going here. Might be able to call some of these guys in. They're going out to the fields, but they'll probably be out to the fields and fly back to the lake a little bit. There's some cornfields just on the other side of where they're flying now. We've got a lot of geese on the shoreline right here. Or not geese, sorry, a lot of ducks on the shoreline. So once duck season opens next month, if we can get out here, I'm going to be definitely hitting up here. They're all over the place. Another one flying. Geese have been flying right over. They're coming from that side of the lake. And they're flying right over this channel. So I'm going to kind of hang around this channel a little bit. See if any more come flying over. If they come flying over, they're, they should be in range right about here from the ones I've seen already. I got some geese really close here. We're going to get the shotgun out. I might be able to get a one. Okay. I uh, shot three. Missed every single shot. Uh, I'm not so good at shooting them out of the air apparently but uh i don't know there's geese all over right now I'm going down in the channel down in here i usually see a lot of geese when we're out fishing so uh, hopefully we can get something closer down there i just see a couple take off from down there a bunch of ducks just flew i don't know like i said 
this first time I've really went out goose hunting, so I guess I gotta learn. Either I can't shoot, they're too far away, I really don't know. We're headed down this channel. Once I get down past where all these boats are, the lake kind of opens up. I've got geese right on shore here, but I can't shoot. Because we got a house here, I can't shoot towards the house. It's too close to shoot at that house, so. Hopefully they're down in the other end of the channel. Usually I see them back there. If we're lucky, we'll see them. Of course, these ones aren't too far out of range. I'd be able to get right close to them, I think. There's ducks too, but once we get down in the channel, it's all woods. There's no houses around there, so we might get lucky. Got blue heron right on shore there. light glass back in this bay or uh, seven foot of water I'm just trolling along nice and slow got to make sure we don't hit anything because the lake is down a lot since uh, early in the year you can see where we're fishing that water level is almost up to the edge of those trees there okay this is day two for me <coughs> Bless you. okay day two out goose hunting and the second dog again uh, I missed a few the other day didn't get some good video of it because I was, didn't expect them to come up when they did so we're headed out again today and it's very foggy <coughs> walking down the boat ramp you'll see it's uh, pretty low down here the water's come down actually almost a foot and a half two foot since two days ago but that's fine, you just gotta watch the lake. It's much lower, they're gonna be pulling the ramp out. And when they pull the ramp out, I can still use my Jeep to launch. We're almost to the bottom of the concrete here. I still got a couple feet to go yet. You can see where that goes out. I'll be able to launch once the water gets too low. Something just surface right there. A little bait fish. Then I can uh, bring the Jeep and go right along the edge of the beach here and launch out a little farther. As you can see, it's very, very foggy out here today. We got an eagle flying by or seagull, I can't tell what it is. Something flying by me. Just gotta watch. I'm gonna go easy out here. I gotta use my GPS. I got the maps on my uh, boat, on their sonar, and I can follow my way out past where all the uh, submerged stuff is. Because right there's the island by the boat launch. They get out past here a little ways, a few hundred yards, there's another of two of them that stick right out of the water, but I won't see them if I'm going fast, so I'm just going to go easy. Looks kind of weird out here, but I might see the geese once the fog burns off. As you can see, it's still foggy out here. My uh, beard and eyebrows are getting a little damp. Just waiting for this fog to burn off. I got to go real easy. It's easy to get turned around out here. I'm using my sonar to get me out by the islands where I'm going to hunt, so... Uh, we're just trying to get out there. It's taking a little longer than normal, just because I gotta go nice and slow. Okay, I've made it out. I can hear geese. The sun is burning off a lot of the fog in between the two islands. This is basically where they fly over, so I'm hoping we get a few flying over here and I get some shots. I'm at legal shooting light. I just need to wait for them to fly over. As you can see. We got one little island right there, the big island you can't see yet. Island right there. It's tough to see right now, they're not cleared off yet, but it will be clearing soon. Okay, I got a couple geese that are right out here in front of me. A little over 100 yards probably. Just trying to get them close enough. Okay, welcome back to day three of trying to get a goose. I'm uh, headed back out to the boat launch. The water's really low today, but the fog is gone, which is good. There was uh, somebody left their boat tied up to the dock. I don't know why, but I was able to get into the one side of it. Hopefully we can find the geese out there today. Just keep watching and we'll see what we can hear. You can see the water levels. How good you can see on the camera here, but they're down 
quite a bit. When we come out here early in the year, one of my first videos there, we were doing some bass fishing and pike fishing. The water level was right here where I'm standing. As you can see, it's dropped way down. Normally, it's up by the tree line. It always drops down in the fall, though, so hopefully we can get out by the islands, no problem.